Sandy Parker and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Well, we're getting close to Valentine's Day and so I thought it'd be a great time to bring out one of Jennifer McGuire's techniques on sparkle and shine cards. And I'm going to do one that's got glitter on it, one that's got foil on it, and uh, one that's got some heat embossing. So in this video, I think I'm going to focus mainly on the glitter and um, two different ways of doing something that has the same look, one that actually has glitter and one that has glitter paper. So that's going to be our plan and one is Jennifer's technique and one is my own. So with that being said, the first thing we're going to do is use a stamp set from Concord and Nines called Love You Mean It for our sentiment and that's all the sentiments that we're going to use. The one says, I happen to adore you and the other one just says, love you. And I'm going to just uh, put them, put a little Versamark on them. And I need to run my little cornstarch pouch over the paper to make sure that nothing sticks that I don't want. And then we'll just make sure we got our ink in good shape. Really rub it in there so that we're sure that we got a good transfer. And you probably can't see it, but let me see if I can. Yeah, I think I can. If I can't, we'll redo it. No problem. And I'm going to be using some of this Stampin' Stuff silver uh, embossing powder. And I have a piece of scrap paper for underneath. I'll just dump some on and hope for the best. More than that, I love you, I love you. If you get any strays that you don't want, like over here on the right, I have some, you can use either your finger to get it off if it's far enough away, or you can use a, a paintbrush, and then you wanna kind of flick it, and I sometimes blow on it if I have some strays I just really am worried about, and then I get rid of this, put it back in the bottle, because you know I will end up with it everywhere if I don't. You've seen it happen, I'm sure. I even have some on the on my paper here. Next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to heat set this. So we're going to turn on our heat gun and get it warmed up and be ready to go. So we have those done. Our sentiments are ready. We'll put those off to the side. Okay. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do, I decided I would do it out of order a little bit. I have this paper that I'm going to use as my underneath paper. And it doesn't matter if the whole page can be seen because, frankly, it's going to be covered by the next layer of paper. So we don't care that these holes are punched out. And we'll use those, those circles for other uh, projects. And so we won't need to worry about those. So what I did was I took some double-sided uh, sticky paper and this is made specifically for glitter and what you do is you attach it to your backing which in my case is the size of paper that I'm going to put uh, right there which is a quarter of an inch smaller than my last sheet. So next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a ruler and a craft knife, demon stick, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to run it from corner to corner because what I'm going to try and do is create like a sunburst and I don't want this to be, uh, I don't want to go through all the layers, I just want to go through that top layer of paper, this, you know, this backing paper. So 
So our first color that we're going to put down, we have two colors. We're going to go with the typical Valentine colors, which would be obviously red and silver. And I think what I'm going to do is do our red first because I think then when we put the, if we did it in the reverse, we would end up with a lot of excess red in our in our silver, whereas this way we're going to have the red laying down first. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So we're going to, we've got our coffee filter that we're going to dump our uh, excess on and our um, glitter is very fine. It's Martha Stewart's and it's, uh, like I said, it's very, very fine and hopefully it'll do a nice job of covering our um, paper. And then after you, we put it all down, the goal is to make sure that we really get it so that when they open the card they don't end up having an envelope full of glitter. And I'm going to first use my finger and really rub it in to try and make sure that we are ending up with the red really being um, burnished in there. You know, your your goal here is to really make sure that the red is in there so, you know, that you have all red and no sticky. You know, you don't want your sticky. You can also use your bone folder as like your last um, step in making sure that your glitter is going to stay and the way you do that is you're just going to, you know, you're just going to rub on it. Just to make sure we can always add more glitter, but we just want to make sure that our glitter is glitter that's there is staying there secure and for good. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to take off the extra paper that we have here that's every other you know, in between our reds. This time we're going to just put the silver over it and we're going to try and keep the silver away from the red. See how I was explaining if we'd done it in the reverse that it would be really hard to get red off of silver where I don't think it's going to be as hard to get silver off of red. <laughs> that's my, that's my uh, thinking on that. I might be wrong. It might be equally hard. Okay. We I'm going to put this over the garbage can and rub it with my fingers. Hey, last but not least, before we put the card together, I punched this uh, the saying out of... I'm not sure what it's called, but out of this label punch. Sorry for the glare if I got it on you. And now I think I'm just going to go around the edge of this with my um, glue stick. Last but not least, we're going to put our, I put it up on some foam dots so that it would be more, um, you know, 3D. And I have, I put that um, glue stick around the edges of this. And if you have any that you don't like or you don't want, all you do is you take your little knife and you just scrape off whatever you don't like. And, um... It cleans it up no problem. So this card is now finished and I did uh, punch it on the back with our little stamp that says I made this for you 
and I put the washi tape on it and this is that washi that I bought that doesn't stick well so I just put a little bit of glue stick under it and now it's good to go and I thought I could do both of the versions of the card on one video but unfortunately I need to do it on two so this is the version with Jennifer McGuire's idea of how to do it with uh, rubbing in the uh, glitter and mine is going to be in the second video so I hope you'll st stay tuned for that one I hope you give this a thumbs up and subscribe and please tell one friend about me I'd really appreciate it thanks so much for watching bye bye